Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture 18. So we're gonna continue again with the same circuit, you know. Uh, so in this circuit, in the, you know, in the, in, in the first example, the battery at the input here was four volt. Then I change it and the, the operation region was active. Then in the last video, the battery was changed to 10 and the operation region was uh, saturation. Okay, and now I just removed it, you know. Or make it zero. You know, you can express this in another way that the battery now has uh, uh, a voltage of zero. So just so short circuit. Okay, good. So basically, you can expect now that we're gonna work in the you know the cutoff region because there is no source that can feed the point seven to the VBE, the voltage between the base and the collect. I'm the, I'm, uh, the emitter. I'm sorry. We can expect that, okay? So, and you know, in fact, the true operation region here is, is, is cut off and everything, every current here will be zero. But let's assume, just, you know, assume that you you guys, you know, uh, for some reason, you know, confused and assumed uh, active or even saturation. So what's gonna happen? Okay, basically, as I said, you can, you know, assume whatever, then you can prove or disprove. If you if it it was uh, correct, you will find your numbers are consistent, consistent, okay with with your assumption. If it's not, then you change the assumption. That's it. So let's assume active, although it's incorrect. But let's assume it and gonna, let's see what's gonna happen. So assume. Active region. Okay. If we are in the active region VBE is 0.7, okay? And, you know, IC is equal to beta IB. And G1 is forward. I mean, the junction between the base and the emitter. G2 is reverse. Or off, let's call it off. Not Or VBC should be less than 0.4, okay? Good. Another important information is to look at the, you know, the, you know, uh, the characteristics. So the characteristic, we know the characteristics of the transistor is something like this. Here you have IC, here you have VCE, and look. The current is always positive. So these are, you know, positive values, positive values. And what's being said for IC is exactly same conclusion for IE and IB. So whenever you are working in the active region or the saturation region, the based on the characteristics, okay, VCE must be positive. And the IC, IB, IE, all these currents should be positive. So another important information regarding the active region that VCE must be positive, IC, IE, IB, all these may, you know, parameters must be positive, must be positive. Now we could know that, just look at the characteristics. You know, this is a zero. So these, all these values, either this, IC1, for example, IC2, IC3, IC3, uh, 4, whatever, all these values are most of. So if you discover something rather than this, then you have some problem with your assumption. Good. So let's do that. VB is 0.7 now. So remember VB is zero, so VB, you know, the base is just connected to the ground. So VE is equal to minus 0.7. If there is 0.7 here, so this guy should be minus 0.7. Based on our assumptions that we are working in the active region, now IE. And remember, IE must be going out of the emitter. IB should be going into the base. IC should be going into the collector. And with these directions, they must be positive. 
So IE can be calculated now. It should be VE minus zero over uh, RE. Because it's flowing in that way from VE to ground. VE is minus 0.7. Minus zero, of course, you know, just zero. And RE is 3.3 .3 kilo. Ohm. Don't calculate it. You know, don't use your calculators, you know, please. Because basically this is wrong. This is inconsistent, okay? Because if we are in the active region, IE, IC, IB should be, all of these guys should be mostly, okay? Because if we apply now IC is equal to alpha IE or beta over beta plus one IE, so again, it should be, you know, 100 over 100 or 101, again, minus 07 over 3.3. .3. So this is all these values are negative values. Inconsistent with the assumption. Whenever you assume active or saturation, you must find the currents and VCE positive values. So the assumption is correct. I don't to continue, you know. Now the assumption is incorrect, you know, we should assume another assumption. If we assume saturation, okay, we still have the same problem. VBE is still uh, 0.7 because VBE is assumed 0.7 either in active or saturation. So again, VBE, VE will be minus 0.7. So IE again will be minus 0.7 minus zero over uh, RE, basically the same value, negative value. So IE, IC will be the same negative value. And again, the assumption is correct. So the correct assumption here is the cutoff. So, Cutoff means G1 is off, G2 is also off. The two junctions between base and meter junction and base collector junction. Both are off. Let's do that. So if both are off, so IC equal to IB equal to IE equal to zero. So all the currents are zero now. So IC, we know that IC is equal to uh, VCC minus VC over RC. Look, if we call this, we can call this battery VCC. And this is, you know, the voltage of this node collector is can be called VC. So basically IC is flowing in that direction. So it's, it's equal to VCC minus VC over RC equal to zero here. So VC is equal to VCC, which is 10. So we calculated VC. Now we should calculate IE as well. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, VE as well. So we know that IE equal to, look, let's look at the circuit, VE minus the ground, zero over RE. VE minus the ground, zero over RE. This is equal to zero. So VE, is equal to uh, basically zero, right? Yeah, zero. So VE is equal to zero. So the correct voltage is not 0.7 for VE. It is basically zero. And the correct voltage for VC is basically 10. And IE is, e is zero, and IC is zero, and of course IB will be zero as well, okay? Now let's check. Let's do the check here. If we really working in, uh, in the cutoff, we should see that the junctions are reverse or off basically. Reverse, you know, or, or so, some, some uh, very small forward bias. So let's start by VBE the base emitter junction voltage. 
which is basically VB minus VE equal to, what is VB? VB is basically zero, and the VB, VE is zero, so it's, it's zero. And we know that from the diode characteristics, this is the zero, zero. So this is ID, VD. Look, here is zero, zero. Whenever the voltage is zero, the current is zero. So that's, that's good. That's consistent with, you know, with our assumption that we are in cutoff, so G1 is off. Good, so how about VBC? VB minus VC, VB is zero, VC is 10, so it's minus 10. Minus the reverse. Look, the current should be I naught, or if, if you're working, of course, with, uh, you know, very small current, or with, uh, we, if, we, if, we, if we draw the constant voltage model, it will be exactly perfectly zero. Okay, so again, this is also, okay. That's basically, you know, how we verified that. Okay. So here in that circuit, uh, which is basically was cut off, we know that since in, the, in this loop here, look at this loop, this loop, there is no source. Since there is no source, there is, there is no uh, source to give the VBE its biasing, its required biasing, which is 0.7. That 0.7 will turn the, diode, that's the transistor on, and the transistor can work in either active or saturation, based on you know, the other parameters of the circuit, like the resistances, you know, uh, VCC, and whatever. Okay, but we don't have this. So that was basically cut off. And even if you assumed differently, I, I, I mean, you assumed like what we did here, you assume the active region, you will find some inconsistency. Like for example, the currents are negative, which is, which is wrong basically. Okay. So that's it guys for this, uh, uh, you know, for this example. So we got to continue watching these videos in the next, you know, videos, we're gonna continue, you know, uh, our discussion about transistors and also our circuit analysis using transistors. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video, bye-bye.